Here's a quick look at New Year's Day 2014 in the UK. I discovered that I didn't need um, a packing piece on the top of the bar because the, the sled bottom touches the underneath of the bar so it can't go up and it can't go down so there's no point in putting anything in there which is a good thing really because it means the grease can be packed in there quite nicely now uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to mount this uh, and as you can see I've glued washers that was good anyway <laughs> yes as ever Raymond is prepared so what I'm going to do now is <laughs> oh dear oh dear oh by the way happy new year uh, I hope you all find what you're looking for in 2014 uh, I'm just going to carry on having a good laugh and uh, making cock ups I think um, right what I'll do now is I'll um, excuse me I'm still laughing um, I'll turn you, turn you back off and I'll glue the washers back uh, not back but I'll glue the washers on this side and then when they've gone off, um, I'll bring you back and we'll uh, continue where I left off before I um, discovered I got brains again. Not. Right, okay peeps, sorry about that. See you in a minute. Let's see what else I can get wrong. Okay, they've gone off and... Uh, We can now uh, put this in. Right, so which side was the V? That side. Okay, here we go. Um, yes, now let's do another thing. I've put the nuts on here and I can find my square. There it is. I check the level by sliding it down the bolts onto the nuts and looking for daylight underneath and there's no daylight to talk of. Um, I'll just double check by putting a piece of printed circuit board on there. Oh, did it right Raymond? There. And it's a bit darker under there, um, a bit difficult with the... I'll just double check. Yeah, there's daylight under the nut. On, on top of the nut rather, so yeah, that is correct. Right, okay. So, uh, V's that side, so that goes that side. Like... Does it wobble? No, it doesn't. Excellent. Right, and then next bit, there's the V, and we put that on. Oh, it's getting close. Ouch. This edge and this edge and this edge is square. That one's a little bit out, that's only because I'm using odd bits of timber. I'm not uh, pressing about cutting anything absolutely perfect. If I if I had the table saw, I was out, able to build this outside in my open air workshop because uh, that's all I've got at the moment. That's why uh, I can't do anything outside so towards the car. Um, towards my nice EV. So uh, I have to um, put up with this for, for now. Anyway, um, now 
I was thinking of using large washers, but they come over the side too much, far too much. So, yeah, that one's okay. There, come here. Yeah, that one's fine. That one's fine. Uh, yeah, that's okay. I'll go the other way. Dish and you can push him down. Right. Ooh. Sort out the sizing of the nuts as well. And uh, we can uh, then get ourselves ready for uh, mounting the Dremel. all the festivities over with. Thank goodness. Easter eggs will soon be in the shop so uh, I should be a very happy man. Because Easter eggs last longer. I'm a chocoholic. It's already on there. I was looking for the nut. <laughs> the nut's doing the job. Yeah. Right. Um, where's my other there? The reason I'm using the pliers is not a spanner is because A, the spanner is doing the job, B, I do have a spanner for, the, for this size nut, but C, and most importantly, using the pliers you can't get a lot of um, um, what do we call it? Uh, force behind the spanner if you know what I mean. Um, therefore you don't do it too tight and cause more problems. Because <sighs> I'd rather just have them tight than too tight. Okay. <coughs> now that is rock solid. Uh, probably get greasy on it, but yeah, that's moving nicely. Excellent job. I know it's slow to you, but um, it is actually moving. Okay. <coughs> so now, get me uh, clamps and see what we can do about um, mounting the Dremel. Oh, I knew I had some other clamps somewhere. I lost the other one. Oops, bang crash. Oh, excuse me. Down. Should we mount it that way up? Or do you think that might be wrong? <laughs> Oh dear, I am a prat and I, I think what I'll do is I'll put that over there out of the way. Oops, getting caught up here. Right, and there's nothing dragging the Dremel down. Now, i got uh, two controls. i got speed control on this side and I've got the on-off switch on this side and I need to be able to access both of them. So, I think the Dremel will fit something like that. 
Now, <coughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the middle of this top uh, piece and then I'm going to come out in um, gradients of half an inch so that I can then use the lines to um, line it up um, parallel to everything else. So um, I don't, you know, I you know I don't sort of like fit it like that. Or, or, there you go, fit it like that or or like that. Uh, it is actually in the middle. Uh, <coughs> pardon me. My idea is to use a couple of these um, uh, capacitor clumps from microwaves. Uh, drill holes in them and then just keep winding up down until this is absolutely solid. But what I'm going to do first is I want to I'm going to do an exaggerated um, thing. I want to put a block either side so that <coughs> it will stay in an upright central position with everything square to here. Um, that way it won't um, move about. Um, they'll be glued so that if anything drastic does happen and this kicks round it can force it off. Uh, I'm not going to be scratching the surfaces because it's only to give a guide and I do want them capable of, in a, a dire situation, of breaking free. Because uh, it might save the Dremel, uh, it might save the tip, might, yeah, it just might save the, the machine. Um, so I just want that ability uh, to, uh, to be able to um, have a... a I suppose you call it a poor man's safety feature. <coughs> okay, so I'll um, get the blocks organised first of all, because that will hold it in that position, and then I'll um, drill, well, cut them obviously, and drill those out ready. Um, I've got some stick-on draft excluder that goes around the edges of a, a door, so that, you know keep the draft out. Um, so I might put that on the inside as well, so that I'm not actually digging the metal into the um, plastic of the Dremel again, so that uh, it doesn't uh, damage it in any way. So uh, that's the stage we're at now, peeps. And uh, when I'm ready to put all this together, I'll uh, bring you back and show you how it all goes together. Um, I will do a video on uh, preparing this, drilling it out and um, sticking the uh, draft excluder on the back. Uh, that's one. And then I've got another one here, which... I'm going to have to, yeah, I'm going to have to uh, cut, drill and the um, draft extruder again. So when I've got all that prepared, I'll uh, bring you back and then we can go from there. Alright then, see you a bit later.